If you can fog a mirror, surely you can paint a house or a garage like mine. But the key to a long-lasting paint job is not the actual painting, it's actually the process of what you do to get to that point. We already know that you have to prep a job to get it ready to paint on the outside of a house. Here's the tools that I like to use, and I'll tell you why I like to use them. The first thing I use is just a regular sponge. This is the same sponge I use to wash my car. Read the label of any paint can, and it says, apply the paint to a clean, dry surface. That's so important. So just wash the house like you would wash your car. Be careful of the power washers. Sometimes they can spray water deep into the wood, and you really don't want that. That's not necessarily a good idea. Then, after you've washed the house, you're going to have to actually scrape possibly some loose paint. These are just traditional paint scrapers. They come in two different sizes, and they work really well. Just get all that loose paint off, and once again, you may actually have to wash some of those areas that you scraped a second time. The next thing you're probably going to have to do is fill some cracked areas or nail holes, putty knives. You have to have them. They're flexible. They work really well. This is for smaller holes. Use the big knives for the big cracks and the big areas that you need to fill. And of course, you'll need spackling compound. Make sure you read on the label. They make them for both interior and exterior. Get an exterior one for exterior paint jobs. Finally, caulk guns. Any cracks around windows and doors, caulk it. Get a good one. The good caulk guns cost about $10 to $12, and you've got a lot more control when you use the good caulk guns. And of course, acrylic siliconized caulk. Finally, paint brushes. Not just any brush. Make sure you get a brush that's matched to your paint. Frequently, you will have paint manufacturers that make special brushes that match the paint. They do that on purpose to get the best flow and the best amount of paint on the surface. You've done all the work. You're ready to paint. But which is the best paint to use? I'd like to use the ones that have a mix of acrylic and polyurethane resins. I discovered this paint about three years ago, and it sticks like epoxy on my house. The reason why is because of the polyurethane. If you've ever used it, you know how sticky polyurethane can be. And that's all paint is. It's simply colored glue. Buy the best colored glue you can for your home. I'm Tim Carter, Ask the Builder. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.